Hello viewers, welcome to Elink TV, a station where you watch, interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in Form 3, Lesson 9. And the topic is Livestock Production Form. And we are on the second, uh, we are on the uh, subtopic, that is routine livestock rearing practices. But in uh, this uh, subtopic, uh, we dealt it uh, uh, from at, from the previous lesson and we are on the first uh, routine management practices uh, or rearing practices in livestock and that is feeding but we are on creep feeding uh, today on to the lesson objective by the end of this uh, lesson you should be able to explain uh, define or uh, explain uh, the first one uh, you define the, t uh, the following terms that is creep feeding and also discuss uh, creep feeding in lambs. The term used we have uh, creep feeding. Uh, this refer to as rearing uh, 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 from birth up to the winning time. Then we have winning. Uh, winning mean the time at which you are supposed to uh, uh, eliminate. Uh, the milk you don't feed you no longer feed them on milk but you give them on uh, herbage and other type of feed such as concentrate and also the ravages uh, then we have uh, the third one we have the pig uh, piglet and the piglet uh, is the young one of a pig and the fourth uh, term is kid that is young one of a, a goat and lamb that is the young one of a sheep and the kiddle is the young one of a rabbit we have uh, the, uh, during creep feeding uh, the first feed that you're supposed to provide uh, is the colostrum this is the first milk which is provo uh, produced by, uh, by by the uh, the female upon parturition and the colostrum is uh, rich in water, antibiotics, mineral salts, protein, vitamin A and E, and lactose. And this, uh, it means that it is very, very nutritive and therefore it promotes uh, high growth of the uh, young one. And also, presence of antibiotics is the one which provides the young one with immunity because the antibodies are there to fight the disease-causing microorganism. Then we have the milk composition. We have uh, the components of the milk in kids. Uh, as I have already said, there is water, lactose, and also we can use. You can look. We can look on milk composition in terms of percentage, and you can see that uh, water uh, amount, the content of water in the milk is about 87.7 uh, percent. Then we have the lactose. Uh, that is 4.9 percent, and we have the fat also. That is 3. Point, uh, about 3.4 percent. Then we have protein uh, about 3.3 uh, uh, percent, and also we have the amino salts. That is the smallest percentage of zero, about 0.7 uh, uh, percent. Then uh, we have the whole milk. That is the second uh, uh, feed which is supposed to be provided to the young one. To the young lamb and that is uh, the whole milk uh, that is uh, it is produced by the uh, the mammary gland and um, it contain those com uh, composition which we have already discussed and they are meant to provide the animal with the required nutrients for uh, growth and development then we have this uh, succulent on week six you're supposed to uh, su provide succulent and soft habit those uh, those are the young leaves which are very soft and therefore you just train uh, the young lamb to how to feed on them. Then the young napier grass are an example of a soft habit. Then we have leaves of uh, sweet potatoes and also fresh grass uh, should be introduced on week six so that you can train it on how to tackle uh, the soft, uh, to tackle and uh, feed on a uh, soft habit. Then uh, you introduce the roughage, that is um, when it uh, becomes uh, used in feeding of the soft habit, you later on you introduce the habit, which maybe on the, uh, after one month, you can introduce the, uh, the roughage so that it can uh, become uh, used to uh, eating uh, hardy foods 
then we have come to the end of today's lesson and i will mark the end of this lesson by giving you assignment and the first question is define the following terms as used in rice stock uh, production uh, for the first question is you are supposed to define creep feeding you define what is creep feeding and the second question you are supposed to define the term uh, the term winning as already discussed in this uh, top uh, in this lesson then we have the second question is you are supposed to highlight and any four types of nutrients found in milk as we have uh, as i have already discussed them in the milk composition so you are supposed to highlight or you state any four types of nutrients which you are supposed to find in uh, milk then for reference you can refer from a secondary agriculture student book 3 and the publisher is the kenya literature bureau for more information if you are or if you like to clarify something from us at nmtv you can reach us through the following uh, contacts the first one you can use the uh, sms using the number which is well displayed for you also you can reach us through the youtube at nmtv then you can uh, reach us also using a facebook platform at elim tv and finally you can use twitter at elim tv underscore ke thank you for joining me in this lesson till next lesson